Okay, I admit it. I'm bull now. Uh, 12,868 as I'm recording this. Soon 13,000. It just keep on going up. I cannot uh, be bearish anymore. I, I just can't. It is not, especially after the news, the PayPal news. You heard about PayPal. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard about PayPal news. And that's a really, really good thing because I've been thinking like, how are people gonna buy Bitcoin? Like I told my sister like a week, two weeks ago, yeah, now it's time to buy Bitcoin, just get anything. Yeah. But she's like, I don't have any savings. I don't know how to do that. So I'm telling you, yeah, there's this uh, site. You can go there and just buy papers if you don't buy, wanna buy a real Bitcoin. But she's like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, but you can also transfer money to the Coinbase and then uh, buy it on the Coinbase. And she's like, I have to transfer money. So when PayPal now uh, comes and says you can buy and sell Bitcoin uh, through them, right? A lot of people are already, already familiar with PayPal. They are not very familiar with Coinbase. They don't understand how it works. But PayPal, very familiar with it. So right now I understand how we are going to get mainstream into the Bitcoin. And I think uh, you understand that as well. Uh, no. This is this is big news. Everybody, like once the PayPal news uh, uh, popped out, uh, my... Twitter went crazy, literally crazy. So it's big news, 13,000, maybe somebody knew, maybe people always want to say like, oh, this is the uh, PayPal news. This isn't the PayPal news, the uh, pump, I don't think it's PayPal. The pump was happening since, uh, since here, since uh, September, uh, yeah, since sep early September, yeah. It, it was just keep, going, it was just keep on going up. Like, I, I cannot say it, this was based on the, on the news it was priced in already the price were priced in now i have to excuse myself and say i was wrong okay the cme games really got me like i i got how, how do you say it uh i bought the story you know like oh cme gaps always have to close uh, you have to watch the CME gaps always, you know, it got into, uh, it got to me, you know, because there was a CME gap, like we have to close it, we have to go down, things are looking a little bit bearish, then we got this candle over here, like, and I was like, sure, yeah, we're gonna close it now, this is it, and then we didn't close, then I was like, nah, it's okay, we're just gonna have a little bump because we didn't finish the job, and then we went down, but still did not close, but I was like, come on, just a little bit, you know, you can push it down, and it didn't push it down, it just like, slowly kept making higher lows you know but i was ignoring all the technical as technicals i was just in my head like it was like we have to close the cme gap we have to do it and that's really i, I don't know what to call it. It, it it was just terrible terrible decision to think about uh that it has to close cme gaps because I should be concentrated on what the technicals are. Technicals were actually good. It was above the 20, it went, uh, it was keep going up, it was making a uh, higher, higher uh, loss. We were getting into the triangle, right? Everybody saw the triangle. It had to uh, get out, but I was actually saying it's gonna go down just because of the CME. If there was no CME gaps, I would have been bull. I mean, I would have been bull for a, a long time, especially, you know, uh, since when I was bull, I'll show you here and I'll explain to you why. Since uh, the Corona uh, dump, do you know why? Because in, in Corona dump, it went all the way below this line. Do you know why this line was uh, important? Because all the stop losses are down here. Below the, uh, below the uh, two, uh, two weeks down here. So everybody who bought like around here and uh, had some money and uh, wanted to avoid avoid losses you know they had stop losses all the way here uh, around here right and then once this week all the way down here it picked up all the stop losses so somebody bought up so there are no no stops here no stops nothing to keep it down uh, keep keep it down so everybody that's now buying in the price had to just go up it was beautiful so in my head i kind of knew that this was it the, this was dump the dump that we needed to clean up here and to move forward up but uh, but then the cme gap came here the cme gap like i was really bullish i, I was extreme wait wait i was extremely bullish over here over here i was extremely bullish and i want to go up and it went up it just created the cme gap 
And once we got the CME gap, I was like, what are you doing, man? Get down, get back down. You know, close the gap, then we can move up, you know. But it never closed the gap. And I was trying to justify it with new trend lines, uh, with new uh, resistances. I was saying it, uh, it, it had to turn around, but that's a bad way of thinking. Never assume something. Like I assumed the CM gaps had to be closed, but I didn't. And a lot of people assume like maybe PayPal has to push, uh, push the price up now. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's gonna just stop at 13,000 and uh, come, back to, uh, come back down a bit. Do not assume on the, uh, anything has to happen. We just wanna look at the technicals and assume everything is already priced in. Therefore, the technicals will tell us where the price will gonna, is gonna go. At least that's the theory, right? So now I'm bullish. I'm really bullish now, uh, especially since we broke this high over here. Uh, now we are testing the uh, last high over here before we go up to 20,000, right? We took out this. Now we have to take out this. So if we get above a 14.2, I think I think that that's the first step, taking out 14.2 before we can take out the 20. And for all you hodlers, I want to show you some opt really optimistic chart because everybody is looking at the weekly chart and 20 mo uh, weekly moving average, and I'm gonna show you the monthly chart, and I will show you it's really nice. This is the monthly chart of uh, Bitcoin. Let's just remove the lines that I drew. Uh, and look at this. Wait, uh, this is not monthly, this is daily. This is monthly. And I want you to notice something on this chart. I want you to notice the red line is the 20 moving average and the yellow line is the 50 moving average. And the Bitcoin has always been in the bull market above the 20 moving average. Only thing it wasn't in the bull market was over here down here and now during corona market just pre uh, pre corona uh, three times below the 20 moving average on the monthly the rest of this is actually bull market we were going down here got in the bear market accumulated it got up uh, back above the 20 uh, monthly and the rest was just following the 20 monthly we were never actually bearish if you think about it for hodlers, we are never bearish. You could have just uh, average cost here between 13 and 6 and your average cost would be something between uh, around 10 maybe, which is de decent buying, right? It would ha have been perfect. You had like 1st May 2019, 1st October 2020, like one, uh, one and a half year just average year buy every month uh, so, uh, a little bit above the 20. And you have been fine. No problem. For people that hodl, Above the 20, everything is good. Like, if you buy a below 20, you should be having a, bur a party, man. I bought below 20 uh, moving average on the monthly. That's how good that it is. 20 moving average. And now, for a follow-up, because as you can see here, once it breaks the 20, it uh, keeps on rising upwards, right? Uh, and uh, we get parabolic rise. But it's not uh, hitting the 20 like it does on the weekly. But it does hit another line, this one, and this is the, I'll show you, this is the 6 month moving average, 6 months moving average, and it's really nice, so, so I like it, I like the number one, it's been 6 months, right, uh, 6 months moving average, and it really follows the line like tightly as it can, uh, just can follow it, you see here all the way up to the top, tried to uh, get on, cut above it, then broke it, hold it, and then it was keeping under it all the way down here. Once we broke it over here, jumped above the 20, keep it down, now you have some kind of bear mark, got back above it, under it, above it, and now we are above it and following it closely. So what I want to tell you is, we're going to get back to the, the, the six, six month on the monthly uh, moving average, six mo months moving uh, six months moving average on the monthly chart we're gonna get to that so right now it's a bit above it so i would say it's not a good buy but i mean if uh, the chart just holds for next month because this is gonna rise uh this is gonna uh, rise up right wait let me do this like this here why why does it okay whatever it's, it's, it's not perfect yeah this is gonna be some kind of moving uh moving average so next month uh, probably like 
11 2 is gonna be a decent buy because that's that's uh, that's gonna be some kind of low some kind of low. if if it's get uh, get down to 11 2 uh, I mean it would be perfect right because it, it, as you can see it was every month it get got back to the six months uh, moving six months moving average like every month let's see here it got down 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 not here not here not here down down almost down almost down down not down 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 not here down down almost down like you, you, a lot of times a lot of times it gets back down to the blue line okay the blue line is six uh, month moving average so watch that line if you want to buy in uh, cheaply uh, watch that line try to get uh, as close as you can get to that line and uh, but because I don't think we're gonna uh, revisit the 20 moving average ever again uh, at least not this bull run right so take that thing. this is only for hodlers you know for you guys that day trade and trade and swing trade and all that trading you know the movie uh, the monthly chart doesn't tell you anything you know you you go down to the uh, four hourly and uh, whatnot you know and the four hourly looks parabolic as F you know uh, so it's going right up there uh, what you're gonna do uh, with that I don't know you know take your precautions let's turn off this this is a 20 so it's far from 2020 is at 11 8 and price now is at 12 8. it's almost thousand thousand above it just went parabolic right here so what's gonna happen we have some uh, I think we we got some uh, divergences Let, let's let's check for the divergences okay I think there was divergence here if you can use uh, call this divergence right uh, but it was yeah because this line goes down this line go, I mean it can still correct you know because this is on the daily so you got still some a few hours it still might go up to 14,000 or something like that. I don't know I'm not gonna use divergence right error side divergence especially and say anything about it but uh, yeah right even now it still looks really really bullish on the four hourly on the one hourly everything looks bullish because it's uh, trending on the 20 moving average on the hourly on the four hourly it's trending on the daily it's above uh, all the uh, averages on the 20 uh, on the weekly sorry on the weekly is above the weekly average on the monthly is above the six uh, six month uh, moving average right so all in all it looks really good and I'm finally changed my mind from uh, bearish to bullish and I'm gonna just ignore the CME gap because I cannot believe it in anymore I mean something has to happen to close the CME gap and I don't know what's then that gonna be uh, and it might be some kind of corona some kind of market where uh, S&P and I um, global uh, stonks uh, market crash right and then uh, uh, to pull us down uh, like this did uh, right over here and that way we can close the gap I don't know something might happen that can uh, do that but in normal scenario we are really really bullish right now and just uh, i don't know if you're seeing this here uh ptc usd shorts this from bitfinex i think uh shorts i just shot up uh the last day let last four hours i think yeah four hours eight hours 12 hours they just shot up through the roof for, with the 50 percent so take that into consideration when uh thinking if you should go long now because a lot of people are going short uh I mean, they're still getting erect. I mean, there is no signs to this. Who's gonna be right? Who's gonna be wrong? But know that there are people going short now, uh, right now, on this uh, 12,800 uh, stop. So, how far that's gonna work out? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, thanks for watching this far. I hope you learned something and I learned something. So, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you didn't subscribe. I'm gonna make only Bitcoin videos from now on every day and uh, I hope that's something you are interested in as I am and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.